Tonight, local American Red Cross volunteers are deploying to Florida ahead of the hurricane. KDK's Jennifer Barresso met two of them and continues our team coverage. Jen. Yeah, Ken, two inspiring men. They got the call this afternoon and shortly thereafter, right now, they are driving to Florida. They are going to be delivering food and emergency supplies. Hold up. And they're off. If we're lucky, it'll probably take us about a 14 hour drive. Uh, with a few stops in that, you're probably pushing it out to 16 hours. American Red Cross volunteers Don Klink of Ambridge and Andy Kosmak of Ross Township got a phone call hours ago and dropped everything. They're headed to Tallahassee, Florida, ahead of Vidalia into an unknown situation. They don't even know their full assignment until they get there. We'll go into the neighborhoods and uh, we'll have uh, food on there. Some of our partners, like the Southern Baptist and that, will prepare the food and then we'll make sure we get it out and deliver it. I guess we'll find a lot of devastation. Uh, that's what we found the last time. A lot of people distraught and uh, having their homes washed out. Um, that's very unfortunate, but uh, we do what we can. These are pictures from Cosmax previous deployment responding to Hurricane Ian. A spokesperson says as of Monday evening, the Red Cross of Greater Pennsylvania has more than a dozen volunteers en route to Florida, including three volunteers from Westmoreland County and one from Fayette County. As Idalia strengthens in the Gulf, the Red Cross has pre-positioned disaster teams and supplies to support communities who may be impacted by the storm. Idalia could be a hurricane by the time it makes landfall in Florida late Tuesday. As for these volunteers, they're ready for anything and to help. You've got to reach out and uh, do commitment, not just look at yourself. You've got to be willing to reach out and help. Because of my faith and uh, the Lord commands me to do this, and this is what I do. I have. I have a life of service, and uh, at this point, I'm working with the Red Cross. So I'm real happy to do that. And those guys will be in Florida for at least three weeks. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.